Now there's this thing that you need to know about with acting, and it's, um, you've got, you need to know what exactly carries the emotion out. So what happens is there's all kinds of craziness that happens when people start working with their emotions and their feelings. And what it is is that you've got to be able to understand a basic premise of how an emotion actually gets carried out of you as an artist, as an actor. And when you understand this, all of a sudden, many different techniques for you starts to be able to click. So, I don't care if you're studying acting on Mars or in a different technique or if it's sense memory, or if it's um, Meisner, or if it's whatever. It doesn't make any difference. If you're working with real emotion, and you're working with a real emotion that's inside of you. Now, there are feelings that often are fleeting, but let's discuss this. But there's, there's many, many different people in many different techniques of acting that are able to get real emotion. So you work with your real emotion and you access this. And the way to understand it is, or one way to understand it, you understand that emotion is like this, this collection of water or collection of emotion that happens with like a big river or a big pond. Sorry, a big, a big pond or a big uh, body of water. And if you understand that emotion is this, this placid thing that has this incredible depth. It's like a lake. And your, your goal is to be able to understand how to, one, build the emotion. Number two, how to be able to, to basically keep collecting things to be able to keep building the emotional life. So you build up the emotion. And the emotion is something that will literally, it will be like this quiet awareness that you'll just keep expanding and expanding and expanding. Now, a lot of people uh, have very, very smartly said that this was part of the um, uh, expansion of humanity, uh, of, 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 of the humanness of the human, uh, or of the humanness of the artist, where, where the emotion is, is the depth that lies, the, the inner depth that, that lies within and when you do any kind of any kind of acting work when it deals with an emotion when you get to the point where you're working deep enough to be able to have emotion you definitely have human expansion it's an innate to what it is that is art which is what is craft so you've achieved something by itself because you've been able to achieve an emotion. It doesn't matter if it's anger or rage, it's, if it's sickness, if it's, if it's sadness, if it's, if it's lust, if it's, if it's love. It doesn't make any difference. The thing is, is that, and yes, there are key emotions, but, but when you're working with emotions, the, that depth is that stillness. So you get that solidness of an emotional life. An emotional life is very heavy. It can be very heavy. So what carries the emotions out of you into your acting? So you have some sort of technique, some kind of acting technique that gets you with some kind of emotion, some sort of emotional state. So what is it that carries out your emotion? Something has to carry out your emotion into your art or into your acting. So let's discuss this. What, there, there are several different ways that you can, that you can work with this. And all of them are, are simply your own um, choice to be able to experiment with, to be able to have an experience. So beyond all of the, anyway, so let's get into it. So one of the things that you have is you have feelings. And when you have feelings, you can have all sorts of different feelings. But a lot of the times, feelings are fleeting. And if you think of the feelings as being these rivers 
that flow into the into the larger body of emotion. Then you could kind of imagine that you have um, uh, like a, a fish that that swims up upstream. That's one way. Swimming upstream of a, of a feeling is one way to be able to get to get connection. So you you basically have your feelings that are kind of reverse engineering your emotion and there's this river that starts to flow. Now this is one very authentic way that actors actually are capable of establishing themselves with a connection and that is just my way or one way that I'm using to describe what that connection might be. So let's say if there's two very very good friends and the very good friends have shared feeling and in their shared feeling is actually that connection and that's an example of where a feeling is actually pulling out the emotion it's pulling out the emotion and there's this beautiful connection and and, and it just it's just like a it's like a fish jumping upstream over and over and over all the different salmon going upstream and that's what the audience is witnessing and, and witnessing the actor experience. And that's a feeling that's actually done that's reverse engineering. Now, the other one that is interesting, and there's more than one, there's more than a couple of these. There's meaning. So there's personal meaning. So personal meaning is this component that you can put in your, and with, mix it in with your emotion. And when you add meaning to your emotion, then you have a vehicle that can then carry the emotion into the work of acting. It can carry uh, into the work of acting, it can carry into the work of art, it can carry in, into other types of acting craft, expression, all kinds of things. because. Because the meaning, the meaning picks up the emotion. You, you as an artist, commit to the meaning. And you know that the, it, you kind of tap into the meaning. And then the meaning kind of carries the emotion out. So therefore, the emotion can continue to work for you. Everything still starts to work for you. And you start to get that thing called the actor's flow, regardless of the technique. Another way... To be able to achieve this is through reasons. Now you pick a reason. There can be, uh, um, sometimes you have to be careful because they can be very logical reasons. But if you pick a good enough reason um, where you're, you, there's something that you, that there's a reason for, like that uh, um, you have an emotion of, of, of empathy and the empathy gets a reason that you find out that um, there's a food shortage in a certain part of the world. So you end up having the reason that you, you're not obligated to solve the food shortage, but you have the reason for that so that, you, you, that carries your empathy to be able to try and help. And your reason is there helping. Now that's a very empathetic reason it's, it's but there's all sorts of different examples of these but explore those different examples and find out for yourself which ones are logical and which ones are, are less logic because reasons are tricky because sometimes people will have a reason and they'll think that they have the excuse in art to play the idea well a reason's just a reason i mean you can there's there's logic. See, you can attach a reason in very creative ways to what the writer's written and then be able to have this seamless kind of thing happen with your work. And the seamlessness is what we're actually talking about because we're talking about the carrier of emotion. So in this example, you'd pick a reason which is a little bit more logical. And, and you get a reason, and the reason carries through the emotion. So that's the reason to be able to take. And, and that's a, uh, another whole topic. The next one is motivation. 
Now, motivation has, again, to do with personality. So you might be motivated by something and another person might not be. So you pick a motivation that links in with that emotion. So if you have the emotion of, oh gosh, there's so many emotions, uh, but whatever your emotion is, you pick your emotion and you've got your emotion and you've started to do your, 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 uh, your feeling. You have a feeling of it, you have the idea of it, and then the feelings, they, they seep into emotions. And all of a sudden you start to realize that you've got this, this emotion. And it does happen with empathy. It happens with all sorts of emotions. And you've got this incredible emotion. And what you need and what you're missing in your acting work or what you could do to be able to better craft it. And it's for everybody. It doesn't matter what type of, 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 of uh, project you could, you could you, what you do is you, these are the building blocks where you can then assist yourself to be able to come up with this technique. So you come up with your own technique and your own sort of structure to be able to get what, you know you have emotion that's active, that you feel, that there's, that there's feelings coming out and there's some things, but you're, you're not going to use feelings in this, in this example to be able to, to get the connection. But what you're end, end going to end up doing is you're going to end up using a motivation. So a motivation, you choose. You choose what that motivation is. And you make sure that that motivation is personally tied to you. And you make sure that when you're crafting this part of your, of your emotional work, you take it and so you put it right through your emotion. And so that emotion ends up going through. And then you've got that in your art or your, your craft. And you can literally experiment with this stuff with like painting. I mean, it, it is incredible what you can do with emotion. And... It will take time to learn this, but this is the essence of what talent is, which is incredible. So the last, the last one I have listed is, um, now we're understanding that you're building your own technique with this discussion. This isn't me building your technique. This is me giving you examples of how you can work with crafting to be able to do this. So the last one is urgency. So you can give yourself the example of an urgency. You've got to get something done in a certain amount of time, and that is your impetus or your 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 impetus. That's that's the the carrier of your emotion into your acting work is the urgency. And when you do that, oh, it's interesting because you could you could really determine. You could determine for yourself at the time where you are in your life that urgency is the best carrier for your emotion by experimentation in acting classes. And it could be whatever technique of acting class. The, the ability for you to have um, the empowerment in acting to be able to say, okay, these are the, are the, some of the elements that you can work with that will be carriers of your emotion. So basically you leave your emotion where it is. So this is how it works. You leave your emotion exactly where it is. You keep building the emotion. You keep building the emotion. You, you go into the, the idea of it. You go into the feelings of it. You keep activating that. You let the emotion build. You let the emotion build and build and build and build and, and you, you can just keep expanding your humanity on that emotion. And then when it comes time to be able to put that into your work, you pick one of these tools which will be the carrier that just all you have to do is put it through your emotion. It will decide how much of your emotion that it will get and put into your work. Did you hear me? It, was, it will decide on its own. The element itself will decide on its own. It will pick up whatever the, the, the uh, uh, amount of emotion is and it will put it in your work for you. So 
then the only thing you're responsible for is, is, is putting the urgency in the work or putting the motivation in the work or putting the reason in the work but in a way that's not logical. Um, putting the meaning in the work and putting the feeling in the work. And the feeling is, is fleeting, so fle feelings are fleeting, so you got to get to know yourself. Because sometimes some of those feelings will be able to go through the emotion. You'll have the emotion and the feeling, one feeling will work to be able to capture something as it's going through and another feeling won't. And then that just depends because on, on, on the individual and, and honestly, how, you're, how, how what your life is at this moment will also be part of that factor. Acting's really exciting. And there's been all kinds of different upsets over the years about everybody worrying about who's authentic and who has integrity and who doesn't have integrity and what technique's right and which technique's wrong. This should work for everybody. You got your emotion, you go into whatever your emotion is, you get your emotion, you leave it there inside of you then you use a carrier element to be able to go through your emotion. That carrier element, because it's gone through you internally, through you, you've invited it in, you've invited that feeling in, you've felt it, and then you, then you work with it. And if you're working with even a, fee, a fleeting feeling, which sometimes they're not very deep, and they, they, sometimes the feelings look really deep and they're not, you invite the feeling in, the feeling goes through the emotion the still, placid, gorgeous lake. And then that feeling picks up the water of the, of the lake, of the emotional lake, and then you see what you end up getting. And then that's an, a way that you can then continue to work. And an important thing is you, you continue to work that way and you should be able to go take after take that way. More so if you have to, uh, because a lot of times this will work in, with less, with less um, tape time on the uh, on the film recorder, but the thing is, is that these are very important as lessons. So enjoy and try the technique out. Let me know in the comments uh, what they works, what doesn't work. You know, um, I'm open to to what has to be said. And uh, like or boop the like button. And uh, thanks.